Hello, West Prem fans. Uh, thank you for your questions. And uh, let's get right into it uh, to see what you want to know about me. How did your handball career begin? Uh, how I started handball? I was actually really, really young, around five, six years old. Uh, handball was a little bit in my family. My grandfather was a handball goalkeeper. My father played a little bit also. But I started actually, my first, first sport was skiing. Uh, and then uh, my mother took me to my first handball practice when I was six years old, five, six years old approximately. And uh, uh, did skiing and handball a little bit together. Uh, and then decided for handball. And I, I think it was the right decision. Is it rare for a player to spend so much time at one club? Why did you decide on Vesprim? Uh, do you, did you have other inquiries during this time? Uh, why did I decide for Vesprim? Uh, because it's a really big club with a big history. Uh, because uh, the arena is the same like Celje. The city is similar like Celje. So I felt like um, I felt comfortable uh, in the beginning moving here uh, and uh, of course playing in the same arena like almost in Zlatoro Western Arena. Uh, I felt at home directly. So uh, about other inquiries, I had some other options but uh, Vesprim is one of the top clubs so why would I move if I feel good here, if I'm always fighting for um, the biggest trophies that you can win. So. I almost feel like I couldn't move for a better place uh, than here. Who do you have the best relationship with on the team? Mm. Okay, I think we have really good chemistry in the team, so uh, it's hard to point out one guy, but if I have to point out, of course, Andreas Nilsson. We've been together 10 years, so we know each other pretty well. Uh, we're really close friends also, so uh, if I have to point out one guy, I would point out. Are you used to work in the kitchen? <laughs> I don't cook so much. Actually, my wife does most of the cooking. Uh, the only thing that's uh, my task is uh, I prepare breakfast every morning, but it's not too much work to do some eggs, uh, some toast, avocado toast or something like this, but breakfast is my thing at our household. What is your favorite candy or sweets? Actually, I like sweets quite a lot, but <laughs> it's not, not the best thing for an athlete, but uh, I would point, point out uh, Nutella. I like Nutella a lot. I try to eat it as less as possible, but sometimes it's just too good. <laughs> what are your long-term plans for the period after playing professional handball? Uh, I don't know exactly yet. It's something that I am starting to think about more as I grow older, of course. Uh, I'm uh, still studying at the university. Uh, my direction is that uh, I can be a professor of uh, sports in high school or in school. I can be a teacher. So this is one of the options that I have. Uh, did I decide 100% that I want to do that? No, but it's one of the options that I want to have. Maybe, maybe I stay in handball with some other function, but uh, maybe I will be a professor in school. You never know. We will see, but uh, I have more options to do. How often do you and your brothers talk about handball? Do you usually give each other advice or do you usually ask for each other's opinions? Of course, it's, uh, it's hard to avoid uh, the topic handball because we all three play handball. So, uh, yeah, uh, they don't give me so much advice because I'm much older than them. But uh, yeah, when we talk, I give them advice because I'm a little, like I said, I'm older. I've been through more things than them. They're more in the beginning of their career. One is like really, really beginning. Maybe one is in the middle and I, maybe I'm one more in the final parts of my career. So uh, I give them more advice, but of course when we talk, handball is the main topic. Uh, and I try to give them the best advice that I can, that they know what to expect in the future of their career. Are you teaching your little son Leo to speak Hungarian? 
Uh, <laughs> actually, yeah, he, he speaks, okay, he doesn't speak fluently yet, but he speaks a little bit Hungarian because he's also going to English-Hungarian kindergarten. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure as I have contract still for two more years, uh, at least that he's going to speak Hungarian quite well. <laughs> More, better than his father. <laughs> if you had to choose between Celje and Vesprem, which team would you choose? <laughs> uh, this is a really, really hard question. It's like both, both teams are my teams. Celje was uh, my team growing up and in the beginning of my career, but Vesprem is my team like for the main part of my professional career, for the highlights of my professional career. It's still not over, I'm still here, so uh, I still want to do more things here. But it's an impossible decision, I cannot decide. Both teams will be uh, in my heart uh, for the rest of my life. Thank you. See you, Stockholm.